Oh, uh, hey, I, I didn't see you there. Uh, I was just cleaning this trophy, you know, this one I earned in real life for doing something really impressive, you know, like that time I, uh, oh, who am I kidding? I've never earned a real life trophy. Those are for people who do actually impressive things like coming first in an Olympic event or achieving world peace. As for me, I think I only ever won a medal for coming first in a karaoke competition when I was six years old for singing Achy Breaky Heart. Thank you very much. That's a, a true fact. Other than that, Probably nothing. I mean, oh, you're wondering what, what this is. Uh, this is actually a trophy I bought in a charity sale because it looked like a PlayStation trophy. Yeah, it was for charity, okay? Don't judge me. That's got me thinking though. What if our PlayStation trophies were just as impressive as your brother's sports day trophies? Imagine if you came home one day and you're like, look, mum, I've got this trophy for beating this boss that I spent five hours of my actual living life doing. And now look, I have a platinum trophy in this game and she'd be really proud of you and give you a fiver. What if we lived in a world like that which five trophies would be your proudest and you would have proudly displayed in your home now to make things a little bit more interesting i've decided with my proudest trophies i'm going to pick one bronze one silver one gold and give myself two platinums just because i want a nice varied display in my house so one of my proudest trophies well Here's my list. All right, let's start things off with the humble bronze trophy. Now, it didn't take me long to think about what my one would be for this because I knew straight away it was gonna be this one. You know, sometimes the bronze trophies, actually, there are sometimes you get bronze trophies that are actually like gold trophies in disguise. They're like punching above their weight. Those bronze trophies, we're not a fan of those. You I mean, you look at it and you think, oh, that for a bronze, but my bronze trophy isn't one of them. It's, it's just your regular old bronze trophy. You know, it knows what it is and it knows what it wants to be, but it's because I have a, a story behind it that it, it means so much to me and I'm proud of it and it is the bronze trophy for demon souls it's the first box balanx i think it's called i don't know spelling pronunciation i don't know i'd never played any of the souls games i had a friend he was like oh you'd love dark souls i'm like no 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 why well, do i want to play a game that's really frustrating i don't play games so that i don't, I don't want to be part of this so i sort of put it put it off for a long time now then i think it was in an august maybe 2013 or 2014 demon souls came on playstation plus and i was like Hmm, maybe I'll give this a go. Now, I don't really know how, but I seem to have this uh, PlayStation Plus code, because I didn't have PlayStation Plus at the time, but I had this code that I'd been saving for one month, and I was like, this is the month, I'm gonna cash it in. Then I can play Demon's Souls, it's gonna be fine, because I didn't pay for it. Also, they had Mafia 2 that month, so I was like, you know, either way, I'm playing a game that I wanna play and I would never bought. So, started up, all well and good, and then it hit me how difficult it was, and I just, I just couldn't even get past that first area where you're like walking up the steps and those guys are coming out and killing you. I couldn't even make it anywhere. And at this time, I don't think you could delete, well, no, I'm pretty sure you couldn't delete your 0% trophies. And this is how bad my obsession was at the time. I was like hell bent on getting one trophy because I did not want a trophy list on my um, trophy profile that had 0%. I was like, no, no, no. That's never gonna happen. I don't want this. We have to earn at least one trophy. So, oh my God, this was like one of the hardest trophies I had to ever earn in terms of, I just sucked at the game. I just died repeatedly. I played, I literally played this first level for almost a week, just going through it and just hating every single second of it until eventually I finally made it to the boss and I was like, thank God, we're so close. I just want this one trophy and then I'm never playing this game again. I'm getting rid of it. I'm deleting it. Eventually I did beat the boss. I'm not really sure how um, how long it took me to beat the boss. I'm pretty sure it was like, oh, use the firebombs. And so I like, threw firebombs at it and it didn't work. And then I was like, God damn it. I just need to beat this boss. So I did it. Oh. And the relief when I saw that trophy pop, it was like the trophy, I just wanted this trophy so badly and I finally got it, I felt so happy and I was like, that, that's it, I'm done. But then I looked and the new archstone had turned up and there was like a way out from the boss area and I was like, what if, what if I just, what if I just go and just see what's up there? I mean, I'm not gonna be able to do it, it's gonna be really difficult, but I'll, I'll just take a look. And that feeling never left me. So yeah, every time I got to a new boss or a new area, I always had that thing of like, well, let's just go just that little bit further just to see how far I can make it until eventually I beat the game. And it wouldn't have been for the fact that I just wanted to earn one trophy. I wouldn't have found out how much I loved this game. And eventually I did platinum it. And that's one of the platinums that I really love. But it would never have happened if it wasn't for that first trophy for beating that first boss. 
on to the silver trophy now and this one was a little bit hard to think of i had to actually look through my list because not there wasn't really one that particularly jumped out to me i did have a couple in my mind that i wasn't sure if they were silver trophies or not but then i was like okay i know which one it's going to be and it's one that i'm another one that i'm well obviously i'm proud of all of them they wouldn't be on this list if <laughs> it wasn't the trophy is called free float gold in batman arkham asylum and it is a trophy you get for achieving 24 medals in the combat arenas i think that's what they were called it's the ones where you have to um fight and you know build up your combo and stuff the reason i've chosen this silver trophy out of all the silver trophies in the world is because i actually had a fond memory of this one again the batman games were games that i had never really interested in playing i didn't actually play them till kind of i think i didn't play asylum until city was out because again people are like lucy you should really play this game it's really good and then stubborn old lucy like she always is is like oh no i don't like comic book things never really played any comic book games i don't really know about batman i wouldn't enjoy it and they're like no, no 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 you don't need to know about batman you can just play it and it'll be fun so eventually someone lent me their copy of the game and i was like okay let's give this a go and I just loved the game. I knew nothing. I just I knew about Batman because you know you, you don't not know about Batman. But I didn't really know too much deep into like all the different characters, like the Joker and the Calendar Man. <laughs> I still don't know too much clearly. I think what it was more than anything was the combat. I just loved all the fighting and stuff and trying to get good at the combos. And I basically beat the whole game in like a week. And it was my fastest platinum for quite a long time. It was like one week and six months. As I said, I really enjoyed the combat in this game. So I used to play this over and over again. I just wanted to get really good. I wanted to get better. I really felt like you were Batman because you're like, ah, ah, ah. But the one that was really hard, and if you've um, played this game, you'll probably know it, is the area where you have to beat all the guards whilst you're on an electric floor. Now, the floor isn't electric to begin with. You're on like a timer, so you've got like, I don't know, 40 seconds or something to beat up all the guys perfectly without ruining your combo flow, making sure you're getting a high enough score to get all three medals, but before the time hits zero, all the floor will get electrified and you will die and everyone will die and it'll be over. And some of them were really hard because the time limit was so strict and you literally had to be perfect. So I remember that one was one of the ones that did take me the longest to do. But when I did it, I was like, yes. So I was pretty pleased with that one. And I don't know, I guess that's when I felt like I became the Batman. So free flow combat gold, you just made the list. Moving on now to the big trophies, we're on to the gold trophy. There was quite a few gold trophies that were in the contendership for making it to this video. But in the end, the one I picked is because it just has a bit more of a special place in my heart. And it has a little bit of a, a cringe meaning to me, if you'll excuse me to go into like cheesy territory for a bit. But the trophy I've picked is Brutal in Uncharted Drake's Fortune. At least I think that's called. I should have really uh, looked up what these trophies were called. I know they're what they are in my mind, but I didn't actually <laughs> look them up beforehand uh, to check. But yeah, the reason I'm picking this trophy is because obviously i want an uncharted game trophy on my collection on my beautiful window still because you know it's only right it's my favorite game of all time it has to be there so when i got the collection i was like hell-bent on making because i mentioned before in my silver one that batman arkham asylum was my fastest platinum trophy and i was like hell-bent now this time that i wanted to make drake's fortune my fastest platinum trophy which i did do i think i did it in about two days or something so i beat the game really quickly started uncharted 2 but then i was like mm, i want to try this brutal mode to see just how brutal it is so i went back and jumped into it and boy i got my ass kicked so hard especially that beginning section there was one bit especially in chapter six where i think i was doing literally if you played this bit on any other difficulty you walk through it and it's like 10 seconds oh my god i was stuck on it for at least two hours and that is not an exaggeration over and over again chapter six it was because when nate he like looks at something and he comes out and then he just gets the people start shooting you before the cutscene is finished or whatever you call the little bit that's not the cutscene where you can't control the game oh it was so frustrating that was the moment where i almost i was so close to giving up at that bit but i didn't want to finished it got to the end and then i decided for some reason to make a video about it which some of you may have found this channel from and that is why it would be on my mantelpiece or my windowsill because it has that sort of sentimental meaning for me because that's what really started all of this like i don't really know why i wanted to make that video i think i was just bored at the time to be honest and i wanted to like edit a video and i was like you know i've beaten this and maybe i could help some other people i didn't really promote it or anything i don't know how people found it but uh they did somehow and uh, here we are today so yeah that one it has a it has a special place in my heart just because you know it was the foundations of this right we're in platinum territory now and it was tough to whittle it down to just two 
but uh, I think I'm pleased with the two that I have. Okay, so the first Platinum Trophy I would have is the Entrepid Crash Bandicoot, and it is the Platinum Trophy for Crash Bandicoot, the first game in the remastered Insane Trilogy. Now, it, it had to be this one because uh, whilst there were others, like, as I said, my Demon Souls one, that almost made the list because I am really proud of that one, as well as a few others, but this one felt like a 20-year odyssey or something. I don't know. How old am I? old. They're all my first favourite games other than Sonic, but you know, we're, we're talking about PlayStation here. Uh, so, and I never could beat the first Crash Bandicoot ever when I was a kid. Like literally I always had to use the super password. I have it written in a book somewhere. I think it's in my uh, drawer. I'll have to see if I can find it after this and uh, show it. I'm pretty sure I still have it. That game was so difficult. I mean, who actually did beat it? I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who did beat it. I was able to beat two, I was able to beat three, but one, it always eluded me. Kind of rhymed. Also, for the longest time, I'd always said all I want in my life is to get the Crash Bandicoot games, not even remastered actually, I just wanted them ported or something with trophies. I just really wanted to earn the trophies, but this was so much better getting a remastered version because this was like, oh, all my dreams come true. And it was like, so this was why I was like, I have to do it. I have to get this. This is what I wanted. I'd wished for this moment all my life. And I didn't know what I, would, what I was going to let myself in for by then adding the relics. Oh my god. Oh, some of those relics. I think the ones that were hard was um, the gar no, wait, no, the lab. I remember doing that one loads for some reason. I was like, and I really, that was the thing as well. When I thought that I could get a platinum relic in it, I don't know why. Ugh, I should never have done I don't even think I did get a platinum relic in it, but I just wanted to get a good gold relic or something. I did that one a lot. Did the uh, native fortress a lot, but of course, the high road. I literally played the high road gold relic for. I don't know how long it was. I know I, I did I did a couple of shifts on it. That's what I, I remember thinking about in my mind. So I think on Friday evening, did like a three hour shift, didn't get anywhere. Saturday morning, did another two or three hour shift while watching some television. Then it was in the evening where I did, no joke, like a five hour shift. Now the reason it was a five hour shift is because I could feel myself getting closer and closer. Now it wasn't even that I couldn't get the relic, like the time. I just couldn't even get to the end of the level for goodness sake. So I kept getting to like halfway and just dying and dying. Oh, and when I did it, I was so happy. And also when I did it, I was so like, oh, I've been playing for so long, my thumb really hurt, and for some reason, or somehow, I got this weird, I think yeah, it was this hand, I got this weird sort of blue mark show up on my hand, I was like, oh my god, my hand's gonna blow up. I thought it was like busted, like a vein or something. I was I was quite afraid, and then I didn't play Crash Bandicoot for a while. See, the, the, the stuff I do for trophies, so getting that one definitely felt like, you know, I had achieved something. It was like a, a goal that I had started all the way as young Lucy, and now older Lucy was able to pick up that mantle. You know, we passed the baton to each other, and we managed to make it to the finish line and get to the end of the game and get a platinum trophy. Gosh, I'm really lame. <laughs> All right, so the number one platinum trophy, and I knew what one would be on my list without a shadow of a doubt. It is definitely my proudest platinum ever. I don't think anything can ever top it. And it is the platinum for Max Payne 3. And it's called, wait, I didn't, once again, why did, I should have looked this up before recording. Oh, after all that, it was just called Platinum Trophy. Come on, do you know another thing, just to go off topic slightly? I hate when Platinum Trophies are just called Platinum Trophy. At least think of something original. And I hate as well when the description of the Platinum Trophy is just like, get all the trophies, Platinum Trophy. And it doesn't even have a good picture. Come on, you know, this means a lot to me. Anyways, so the Max Payne 3 Platinum. This was like, this is what I call my peak of uh, Platinum Trophy hunting. Uh, I don't know if I can ever get a Platinum Trophy. As good as this one. This is my rarest plan. I'm currently about 0.70%. I guess 0.70% is just 0.7%, but you know. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could ever get a rarer trophy than that. I've not played any other Max Payne game before, but this one, it, I don't know, it just really hooked me. I started the game for the first time on like medium and I had the soft lock on and I was like, oh, I feel like I want to play without the soft lock on. And I just got really addicted to the gameplay, really, and I enjoyed, oh, I loved Max as well. He was such a good character and I just really liked the story and all the different places you went to. So I had fun playing it. Never in a million years thought I would get the platinum. Another thing that almost stopped me getting the platinum, I just remembered this actually. Okay, this game did have multiplayer trophies and you had to get to, I think, level 50 in the multiplayer. Now I didn't mind because I actually quite liked that multiplayer player so I did actually play it quite a lot I like to uh, do in my what's that the girl uh pass somebody in the river or something that's a, it was a really bad accent when I was playing it I got to like level 15 some crazy thing happened where my like progress in the multiplayer got wiped and I got reset all the way back to zero I was 
I was fuming. So the trophy in particular that is the really hard one to get, that is called the Shadows Rush Bean. It's only a silver, like, come on, that was really difficult. And it is for unlocking and completing New York Minute Hardcore. Now, for those of you who don't know, New York Minute Hardcore is where you have to beat the game in one sitting on a time limit without dying. Yeah, you can't die. Yeah, you can't, I'm just trying to remember it myself. So basically, it works in a different way in the sense that you start the game with just one minute. So Maxi opens the door, you've got one minute on the clock, and you gain time by killing people, and you get more time by doing different things. So headshots get you 10 seconds, normal kills 5 seconds. So you have the time starts ticking down from one minute, and eventually you have to like build it up so you have enough time to complete the game, basically. And you can't save, you can't stop, because... You just, it's just over if you do that so um yeah i think it was more important like to get those first chapters down you just had to know the first chapters get everybody headshot 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 build up your time and uh, make it to the end and i did show you in my trophy log book that i did take a picture of the screen i got now i'm not sure what this number means does it mean that that's how much time i had left or how much time i did it in i don't know but it means I did it and I don't care. You just basically had to memorize a lot of the beginning chapters. There was one day where I made it all the way up to, I can't remember how many chapters there are. I think there's 14 or 16. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's been so long since I played. I really wanna play it again actually, now just talking about it. But I got up to I think chapter 11 and I just made the dumbest mistake ever because that was quite near the end. I thought that I could, um, well, no, wasn't it? Maybe that wasn't. Maybe that was chapter fourteen. I made up to. I know I made it like quite close to the end, and I just did this really dumb thing, and I was furious with myself, and I thought, "That's it. I'm never going to get that far again." But then the next day, it was a Friday. I don't know why. I just haven't. I just really remember it. It was a Friday, and I was like, "Okay, today's the day," and I just played the whole day. And I, when I got to the end, oh my God, I was like shaking. I was like oh, the adrenaline. I was like, my heart was pumping so bad because there's like a final boss fight, and that boss fight's not too bad. But you just have to be because I was just trying to be really careful, make sure I collected my pills so I had enough um, to survive the final boss fight. But what I knew could really trip me up, and I think I would have actually gone. I don't know what I would have done if I fell this end bit. There's a bit at the end where after you beat the final boss, you have to drive after this other guy and he's in, um, you're not driving, someone else is driving you and you're driving after a plane and you have to shoot the plane before it takes off and it's quite easily done to like miss the shot. And I'd missed the shot on many an occasion before and I was like, God, please, I cannot miss this shot after all this time. Managed to get that final shot, got the trophy and I was so happy. Oh my God, I just, Oh, that, I don't think I can ever, like I said, I don't think I can ever achieve a trophy uh, as hard as that one. That was definitely, that was definitely peak Lucy. Maybe something else will come along someday, but I, I don't think, I think it was because I really loved the game that it made me go that extra mile for that trophy. So I think if I had my windowsill and I'd have all my trophies on it, that one would be one that was a little plinth higher just to be like, yay. Well, there you go. Those are my five proudest PlayStation trophies that I would have displayed in my home if we could get real life trophies. Please, one day, can we get real life trophies? Why does nobody sell them? Come on, they'd make a killing if they actually made real life PlayStation trophies to buy. I don't know, someone's missing the market there. Anyways, do let me know in the comments below what your proudest PlayStation trophies that you would have in your home are because I would love to hear all about them. And until next time, happy hunting.